Hey guys, this is Rob John Webb here for Wax This Music Tutorials and what I've got for you this morning is a early Sunday morning, uh, you know, um, heads down at dawn kind of moody lo-fi track. It's a little bit lo-fi, it's a little bit soulful, it's a little bit garage, it's a bit of everything. But it's mostly a nice moody lo-fi track. Now what I've been doing recently is I've been offering one-to-one -one mentoring sessions with people from all over the world via Zoom and other um, screen sharing uh, software programs. Uh, and it's working really well. So this is the sort of thing that I can offer those of you who are interested in doing lo-fi stuff. So if you're interested in making lo-fi and you, you're not quite sure how to where to go with it, then you know get in touch with me at the link below and we can arrange some sort of mentoring package for you. So anyway, moving on, what I've got here is uh, a track that I put together and it's just a simple little thing just to give you the ideas of the aesthetics and the sound design of a basic sort of lo-fi track. I did one a while ago, about a year ago now, uh, and that proved very popular. So I've just done another one just to give uh, people a reminder of what I can offer you, whether it's through YouTube or on the one-to-one -one mentoring videos. <laughs> And there you go, just a little loop. But what I've done is I've put it into a little arrangement, just a short arrangement, just to show you what I've done. Now, something like this, obviously, I've put a pad in there as an intro, and I've just put a warm pad. I've not EQ'd it, I've just literally played it in just for the sake of the purpose of the tutorial. And I've just got this nice kind of moody intro, which is reminiscent of records from early 90s, late 80s, you know, that kind of moody sort of 4 a.m. kind of tune, you know? Stick some rides and claps on it. And then turn it to a chord pad, you know, put some chords in there. And then get a heavy kick. A big fat sort of bass drum kick. Transpose it down 12, minus 12. As you can see here, look. Stuck a drum bus on it for a bit more punch. And then here I've got this bass. Sub bass from the mouse in. And then some snares and some uh, hi hats. a little track like that so I'm going to show you how to put that sort of thing together and how to get that sort of sound and that gritty sort of sound now first things first just get a kick drum and this is quite heavy this one is I've got it's quite a techno one and I take this from an old pack somewhere which is here and all I've done if you look that's how it sounds normally I just transpose it down 12 so I just tell that sounded good on a 12 you could go to um, low if you wanted up to you but I just left it at 12 no real reason stuck a drum bus on it take that off and it just adds a bit of drive to it, it just gives it a bit yeah a bit more punch obviously you could put the boom up it's a pretty cool little uh, effect that is the drum bus it's really good and then I just stuck some hi-hats on and the hi-hats again the same process but I transpose them down four times that's natural Preferred them at minus four. Uh, and then stuck some rides on. Again, same process. I don't think I touched the rides actually. I think the rides haven't been transposed. Look, look. Where are they? There we are, look. 
Oh, they have little four, minus four again. A little pattern. And then some claps. And I've definitely left the claps as they are because when these when you tune down in a, a 909 clap, I just don't like the way it sounds like. It just drags. It just doesn't have any sort of any feel to it for me. So I just left them natural. Put a big room... Um, put a big room... Uh, Reverb on there, Get about 18%, 20%, whatever, it don't matter. Just that it's got a little bit of reverb on it, but not massive black. You don't need a whole reverb or anything like that. Put some EQ on it, take the bottom end out a bit. Just brighten it up a bit, bring up those mid ranges. So yeah, so that's that. And the next thing was to get some sort of uh, riff in there, or pattern, you know, a chord pattern, so to speak. So... What I did was I got um, some chords which are F major 7. If you can hear that, let's go down an octave. There we go. So it's F on the left note, F, A, C, E. Just a dead simple chord. And then it was a uh, E minor 7 with an A root, which is G, B, D, E. But an A on the left, on your left hand, on the lower octave. So if you just see on the pattern there, like if you see on the screen, F major 7, F, A, C, E, face, F on the left, then up to the A on your left hand, like that, and then a, a G, B, D, E. If you can see here, look, these, this, this E hasn't even been played twice, I've just copied it over, so let me just change that. There you go. So that's that. So how I achieved that raw, gritty sort of sound was I used a Wurlitzer um, soft piano on this. Now, if I just take everything off that I've done here, look, you just got like a, there's your natural sound. Nice and simple, nice and clean. I've not touched any of the effects within the Whirl uh, soft piano there. I just put an auto filter on, turn the LFO all the way up to the top, change it from a Hertz to a musical note here, and put the rate at 1-3 and drag the dial somewhere around there. And that just gives you that wobble. Yeah, just bending now just wobbles around so that's that and then I stuck a glue compressor on just put a little bit on just to give it a little bit of a raise so it's a little bit more higher up in the mix but the, the key here is to get that gritty sort of effect and that vinyl effect there's loads of ways you can do this you can use um, you can use the erosion you could use the actual vinyl uh, of sound effects itself but um the problem with that vinyl thing is it constantly plays unless you, you can be bothered to automate it every time you don't want it in the mix and stuff, which can take forever. But I'm sure there's another way of doing it. Maybe I've missed out that bit, but with me, it was just a little bit long. So what I did was, all I did is I went to um, Pedal. Where are we on here? Pedal, in here, look. And I got this one here, which is Synth Pad Fattener. And I put that on, and I just turned it up the output to about minus 15 there, look, and about 30% on the gain, and left it on this one here. Uh, drop a bit of the bass out and then put the sub bit on at the bottom and just got that and there you go and it's not too gritty and aggressive but it's got that effect it's got that dirty distortion you could use any one of these sort of guitar pedals and they're great um, but I just use that one and just just so when it plays it takes the grit with it and when you stop there's no continuation of the grit unless you want that throughout the track then I suggest you just get a vinyl sample and just put it across the whole of the track. So that was that bit done. Then I wanted a little riff, so I just copied the Wurlitzer down to this one. But on this one, because I wanted to do some high-end stuff, like I uh, put on a delay, added a delay to it. Um, as you can see, the vinyl there, that I had it in originally, I just took it out. So yeah, I just put some delay on and 25%, 20% of the feedback, it just gives it that... Just that nice sort of effect that you want, that delay. Then it just goes like this. It just gives it that soulful vibe. So the bass then. Next up is the bass, and it is from the Mouse Synth, which is a free VST that you can get uh, for both Mac and PC. And it's the sub bass, and I've not done anything to it. All I've done is just recorded... All I've done is just recorded in the... Um, the notes which are just the F 
to go up an octave. So what I've done, put a little bit of EQ on it, just brought it up just slightly here, not too much, and then just go. And that's that. That's all that is to it. Uh, and then at the end, I just put in two snares. And I dropped them both by... Uh, I can't see, think what I've done. I've not put any EQ or anything on it. These snares were originally... Uh, I think... Let me just try and push it up to four semitones. That's the original. So yeah, I dropped them by four semitones. Um, and I just put one in uh, as normal so when the kick plays on top of the snare it's one two one two like kick snare kick snare but then on the second snare i've got a different snare altogether you put that just before the middle line in between two snares so it gives it that like this so that it bounces off the second snare one two three four there so this snare the bottom snare comes in just before the second the next kick one third kick sorry and that's how you do it so that's that and then finally i had a little pad in there which is from the cabalt which is a free vst again but it's only available on windows i think uh same chords i just used the warm pad um but what I did for this was, for the intro, I just put in like a high string intro, which was just to give off that kind of moody, early dawn vibe. You know, like I said earlier in the demo. And there it is, look. Let's open that up. Just a few notes. Nothing special. Just using the notes of the chords. And then the chord pattern comes in here, which is like the, the pads. With the ride. Copied them over, just copy everything over into a small little track, get the arrangement going, job done. Kick. And what I wanted to do here is when this pit came in, this this Rhodes chords here, they're the same as these. But I didn't, they, they kind of clashed. They didn't work together um, very well. So I dropped that out here as that enters and then had like a high string, which is like that one there. But I've done it on a higher octave here. Look, so it goes like that. And then that comes in with a high note. Like that. And then we could go off in some crazy sort of jazzy funk group. Groove. Etc. Etc. So that's it. That's the basis of uh, a lo-fi track and a moody kind of soulful vibe. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as I say, I'm now available to do one-to-one -one mentoring sessions. So you can learn this kind of thing with me. You can learn disco house. You can learn old school acid house, techno, you know, straightforward house, funky house, whatever you want to do. Go to waxidisc.com. The link is at the bottom of the page. And just check out what I do, what I offer. And if it can be of any benefit to you, then please get in touch with me via the booking system on that website. Thank you very much for watching and as I say, like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and leave a comment in the bottom uh, for anything you want to ask or anything you want to say. Thank you very much and goodbye.